Okay, JJ Shitmaster here again with another Halo figure review. But this one is for everyone who liked the game Halo Wars. Because <clears throat> um, they actually have a new character McFarlane made. It is the Halo Wars Arbiter Reaper Morami. As you can see, like just by getting in, I was just focused on the three back there. I put him in and he didn't fit in the camera. It was like up to there. Where, but this guy is huge. He's like about the size of a brute, but if you can get his legs to be fully extended, he'll be bigger than the brute. So that's cool. His arms are massive. As you can see back there. You can see right there that it's like some kind of dirty spot. That's because. I the I actually ended up breaking the sword off the hilt because I tried taking it out of his hand. I do if you get this guy, the first thing you should not do is actually take the sword out of his hand. I recommend leaving them in. If you can follow what Cobra Cat said by um heating it up somehow, whatever. I'm not you. You make the choices, but. I don't recommend pulling it out at all. It's like, just by the look of it, it's like it shouldn't come out. Because it's like fully wrapped around. Okay, now, just, I just like how there's so much detail on this figure. On his face, it's like he's screaming at you. Something I noticed here on the chest. From distance, if you're not looking at all the detail, like the shape is like a weird face. See it right there, it's like a weird face. Like these things are the eyes, the nose, and this is the mouth. I originally thought that was supposed to be a skull, but I don't know. The problem is weird. And Bungie. Bungie's awesome. Right? They got so much detail built on this figure. Even on his back. Right here. The, um, no peg holes on it. Because he's the Arbiter. He just needs energy sword. What more would, it, would he need? Now the old, um, the Halo 3 Arbiter would like probably have a peg hole like, right here on the side. Right there on the side, but he doesn't have one. Because he doesn't need one. Because he's just so badass. Okay, so as far as articulation wise, he's pretty good. His arms can go out pretty far. His arms go 360. This arm, this thing right here, you can actually like move it. So like when his arm goes, instead of being scrunched up like that, you can lift it up and keep moving it. Elbows move, hands move, but I don't feel like moving them. The legs move back and forth. They got a little joint back here, because you can see that line, I think. Yeah, you can see that line right there. That's where it could go, well actually 180, because it shouldn't go 360. They got some articulation right here in the feet. not much though okay now I highly recommend getting this figure because every time I go to Toys R Us to find a new Halo figure they're always sold out with this guy there's at least one left always always only one guy left of the always one Arbiter left in the store so he will sell out fast wherever you are Okay, so just gotta stand up. So yeah, if you could get this guy, act on impulse and just buy him immediately, because this guy is worth getting. Be worth a lot of money someday, but not mine since the sword broke. Okay. So thank you for watching, and he fell.
Okay, so thank you for watching. Rate and um, please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube.